Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you the handwriting and note-taking performance of the Huawei MatePad Pro together with the M Pencil. And these are the apps that I'll be using today. Notepad is the default note-taking app on this tablet. Nable is available on Android, iOS, and Microsoft Windows. And Wacom Bamboo Paper is one of my favorite note-taking apps. With M Pencil, you can tap on the MatePad Pro when it's asleep to open up Notepad. This app is quite responsive and it seems like it's able to capture my handwriting quite well, quite accurately. There is also pressure sensitivity. It seems like this app is able to read my handwriting and convert part of that into text. However, it's only using that text as the title. There's no way for me to convert everything into editable text. Hopefully Huawei can add more features in the future because right now you can only choose different pens and colors and that's about all you can do with this app. This tablet has a laminated display, which means there is no gap between the glass and the display beneath. So when writing, it really looks like the lines, they are appearing directly beneath the pen tip. One thing I did notice is there is some latency issues. So as I'm writing, the line will try to catch up to the pen tip. It's not a terrible or irritating lag. If you look for it, you will see it, but it's not the first thing that comes to my mind when I'm writing. This is a plastic tip, so you can expect the same plastic on glass type of smoothness. This is not terribly slippery. The tablet with the most slippery screen is the Huawei MediaPad M5 Pro. That one is like ice skating. In terms of how slippery this is in a scale of on a scale of 1 to 5, I would say this is maybe 3.5 out of 5. The MediaPad M5 Pro that is 5 out of 5 extremely slippery. When you are writing, you want a pen that glides smoothly. This is a pen that glides smoothly. By the way, this app, it only detects pen input. So when you have your finger on the surface, it's not going to introduce any stray strokes. And this next app that I'm using now, it's Nable. I see some wobble with the strokes, but it's not a big deal. Overall, it's still able to capture my handwriting, although it's not as accurate compared to the earlier app. Nabo is an app that can convert handwriting into editable text, and it seems like the conversion here is very accurate. For this word, Fox, this is a bit challenging to read, but the app was able to read that perfectly. If you want to access your notes from your computer or somewhere else, Nabo is the app that I would recommend because there is cloud syncing. Nabo only detects pen input. So palm rejection here, it's flawless. You can sync your notes to a Dropbox account. Now, Nabo actually supports Google Drive, but Huawei doesn't have Google Play services, so you will not be able to connect Google Drive to Nabo. The lack of Google Play Store is a pretty significant limitation at this point in time because it really limits the number of apps you have access to. I mean, there are still a lot of apps from the Huawei App Store, but most of these apps are actually um, those where you have to type your notes, not the ones where you can write. And also the quality of the apps, um, they are not as good compared to Android and on iOS because many of these apps, they are quite new. So it will take some time for the developers to make those apps better and for developers to port apps from other platform over to the Huawei App Store. The third app I want to show you is Wacom Bamboo Paper. This app is also available on iOS, Android and Windows. This app is able to capture my handwriting quite well. However, I still detected the slight wobble here. 
but it's not a big deal because my handwritten notes it's still very legible if you're wondering what wobble I'm talking about it's this wobble here so see as I draw this straight line slowly there is this wobble and it's not from my hand if you use this tablet for drawing the wobble may be obvious because lines can be long but for writing which involves short strokes like this it's not really a big deal pressure sensitivity works great by the way and so does palm rejection Wacom bamboo paper actually doesn't have perfect palm rejection so you can actually use your finger to write on the app however the palm rejection implementation with the M pencil and the tablet it works pretty well so straight strokes they are still quite rare if you're someone who writes really hard and you press on the glass you may see some visual effects let's see if you can see anything from this angle okay i do see some effects here it's like a ripple effect you may or may not be able to see it depending on the angle you are looking at i consider myself to be someone who writes with medium pressure and i am able to see that ripple effect when i'm writing as per normal so that's the overall handwriting and note taking experience on the Huawei Mate Pad Pro together with the M Pencil I'm going to give this an A minus